Um, okay, well, first of all, there's actually, actually no historical evidence that isn't a hotly disputed item within the field of history to prove that he ever was even a man, much less the son of God. No, I, I don't, with, with respect, I think. I'll explain it button. if you like. It's a hot button here. Yeah. If, if you like, I, I can, first of all, there, it, first century Palestine is a very well recorded era of history. We've got dozens of historians who kept accurate and detailed records of hundreds of supposed savior gods. They were looming around every corner. Funny thing is, they never mentioned this Jesus. Even if there was a historical person that that story was based on, that it was mythologized out of, he could not possibly have gone into the temple at Jerusalem on Passover and started a riot without even being mentioned one time, not once by a contemporaneous historian. You're looking earliest dating for anything about this guy to be 100 years or so after his death? 60, 60, 60 70. Can, can I just answer so, this? Something yeah, that's please. not contested. Okay, Kelly, hold it. Go. That's right. just not true. Josephus spoke of Jesus very Josephus clearly. Josephus wasn't and contemporaneous. And listen and not to this. Contemporaneous. One, one sec, just let me you have got so much faith in history books. You quote history books like they're gospel, and you ignore the gospel records. Do you believe in George Washington? <laughs> Whenever you quote history books, it shows you've got blind faith in the words of man. We have the words of the living God in the Bible. The Bible has substantiated itself to be God's word by just open study. You can look at me while I'm speaking to you guys. Don't look away. Just have to open the Bible and read it. It's self-provable. It's axiomatic. It's full of I've read it multiple prophecies. Times. The Bible is full of prophecies that are coming true in our day and age. It's the world's most famous and greatest seller of all time. It speaks history into existence before it happened. Read the words of Jesus, Matthew 24, Luke 21. Study the scientific facts in the Bible. It says in Job, the earth hangs upon nothing when science believed it sat on the back of three gig two gigantic tortoises. It speaks of the, not only the Earth's free float in space, but it speaks of other scientific facts in Isaiah about the world being spherical. Just take the time to read it. It's self-provable as God's word. It's got his fingerprint all over it. We've both read the Bible multiple times. Okay, thank you very much. 